Hey guys, Steve the car guy here. Today we're going to be putting on cylinder head on a 2007 Honda Accord. This uh, my car jump timing and all my exhaust valves got bent. So I've redone the valves. I got the head back on the core. Now it's time to put the head bolts on and torque them down. Today we're going to be talking about torquing head bolts. Okay, on this specific core or engine, these head bolts, as you can see right here, a brand new okay you put them before you install before you insert the um the bolts you want to coat them real good with some oil okay so i i got a brush i just take my brush I'm gonna brush a little bit on the threads. Make sure you get some oil coated real good on these washers. Because when you go to torque them down, if you have a dry washer, it's gonna create friction and it's not going to torque correctly because it's going to start grabbing. So Coat them real good, and then insert your head bolts. When you're torquing the head bolts, you always wanna have it as smooth rotation as possible. No friction. But you do them in a pattern, in a sequence. The first setting is going to be 29 foot pounds. And then after that, you're going to do two 90 degree, 90 degree turns in sequence. It calls for three, but two would be plenty enough. I just think 390 degree turns is just overdoing it. And what you also can do, what I, this is what I do, I take a paint marker and I mark the top of the head bolt. That way you know where your 90 degree turn is gonna be. So I just coat them real good with oil. And then we'll go and insert the head bolts. First, you want to take your um, 14 millimeter, 14 millimeter half inch drive socket. Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold, hold the phone and work at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna run them down until the surface of the boat meets the head. No further than that. And we're gonna go in sequence. We'll tighten them down. Set the phone down for a minute, guys. I don't have the greatest area to work with, but this should work. 
Okay. Can you see it okay? All right. So after you run them down, run them only until they meet the surface of the head. There's two. You can go three. That way your head is evenly all the way around. Four. Number five. Five. Six. Jump over here, seven. Once you start torquing them, you cannot stop. Eight. Sometimes you go you you're gonna feel some resistance. That's the oil inside of the hole head bolt hole it creates a little pressure so as you're screwing it down it's going to run out okay you can jump over here to eight Yeah. After you got them all flush with the head, we're going to start torquing the first set. We'll start from number one, and we're going to torque it down to 29 foot pounds. Sometimes I do this to help me, it helps remember where I'm at. So I can go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Okay, that way you know where you're at. All right. I'm going to talk the first set to twenty nine. You can buy the half inch, half inch drive torque wrench from Harbor Freight. Okay. This will be 29. Now we can start torquing. Number one. Smoother 
rotation, the two the clicks. One. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Eight. After you do your first set of 29, then you're going to start making two 90 degree turns. So this is what I do. I take my marker and I make a line on top of the bolt. On every one, just like that. And when this line comes to the bottom at the six o'clock mark, you're done. It just helps you indicate where your 90 degrees is. If you don't have a uh, degree meter, a degree rinse. It works pretty good. So this is how I've always done it. Okay. Now we're gonna make two 90 degree turns in sequence two times. Okay, so let me get something right here. So my wrist, my socket don't keep falling out. This panic is aggravating. All right, so number one, so you can start at the three o'clock on your handle and come to six o'clock. Three o'clock to six o'clock. This one. It's two. It's three. <laughs> Four. Six, <coughs> excuse me. Seven. Eight. Nine.
10. Okay, now all your lines are facing that way. Okay. Now we're going to make another sequence. I'm going to make all the lines face down one more time. See, that's what you don't want, the clicking. Three. Four. Four. Five. Six, seven, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. All right. They're all torqued. You're supposed to go 90 degrees three times, but Two times will work just fine. As you can see, all the lines are facing down. And you can take a paint marker and mark your spots where you're at. I hope this video helped you guys out. My name's Steve, the car guy. If this video helped you out. Please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you don't mind, please subscribe for, for, for uh, more future videos. And please don't forget to hit that notification button. It helps notify everyone. Okay, guys. Thank y'all. And we'll see you next time. Bzzz.